Welcome to an overview video of Aquadata Studio ER Modeler. The ER Modeler is a main menu within Aquadata Studio, and there you can see the familiar new and open, open recent, as well as generate. And so under the ER Modeler menu, generate would allow you to reverse engineer or point to existing tables or views and generate an ER Modeler file. New would be an example of forward engineering. Let's take a look at examples of both of those. And then one other area to mention here is the right-click capability. If I right-click on an existing connection here under the tools drill down is also a way to open up the ER diagram generator, where now Aquadata Studio knows that's the database you're working with. If I click on ER Modeler Generate from the main menu, then I'll be prompted to specify what database I'm working on. So here through the navigation tree, I can point to a database example, click OK, and now I see the wizard interface for selecting my tables or views against that database. So let me select here my tables and views. There's also other related objects that will, that will be reverse engineered here. Uh, indexes you can see are selected and then constraints would also be included. But let me click next through the wizard here and now the ER diagram is reverse engineered where I can see a picture view of my tables and views in this environment that I connected to. So you have other navigation features that you might expect or the plus minus zoom and zoom in and out capabilities. And then the tools menu is enabled where I would have capabilities or actions I could perform on this model or generating a script or generating a report. If I was to select individual entities within this ER diagram. Of course, I'd have the details on the structure, in this case, of this entity or table. I would have the SQL tab to see the individual DDL for an individual table. Features you'd expect in terms of drilling down into an ER diagram. I can save this as a .xed file, and so that would be recognized by Aquadata Studio and can be shared with other users of Aquadata Studio and those are ways you can collaborate with other users as well. So this is an example of reverse engineering an existing table relationship diagram. Under ER Modeler New, I would have the ability to forward engineer or choose the platform that I'm generating tables or views for and then forward engineer where I have the graphical user interface to say drop a table here to my white space background or drill into a table and start defining the structure of that table here in a forward engineering example, right? Or say create a relationship between two tables and then create the definition of that relationship here within Aquadata Studio ER diagram. So these are two examples of forward engineering tables and views or reverse engineering tables and views and then the actions you can take on those diagrams through Aquadata Studio ER Modeler. Thank you for watching this overview video of Aquadata Studio ER Modeler.